Hope. What are you hoping for? When I read the Bible and I think about hope, I think I don't quite get what it means. When I use the word hope, what I tend to think of is, I hope it doesn't rain tomorrow. Or, I hope I actually get to wake up tomorrow morning. Or, I hope I don't on my bike have to cycle through a mob of angry pigeons. Oi, boys, don't look now. He's here, he's coming, let's get him, let's get him lads, let's get him, go, go. Oi, come here. So is hope the same feeling that an angry pigeon gets when he's trying to attack a cyclist? We say the word hope because we are not certain, right? So when we see the word hope in the Bible, is that what we mean? Psalm 33 verse 18 says, But the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, on those whose hope is in his unfailing love. And then verse 22 May your unfailing love be with us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. Titus 2 verse 13 says, While we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. But that's certain, isn't it? Jesus has said he's coming back, so he's coming back. I don't hope for it. What I do is I expect it. I don't hope. Romans chapter 5 verse uh, 3 says this, Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. Mmm, hope it does produce. Verse 5, And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Romans 15 verse 13, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Overflow! So here's what I did. I turned to the Evangelical Dictionary of Biblical Theology. Hello! And it said this, hope to trust in, wait for, look for or desire something or someone or to expect something beneficial in the future. Round of applause! <laughs> for redefining the word hope so it's completely meaningless. See, when we use the word hope, it's not just the feeling that an angry pigeon gets when he spots a passing cyclist. Flap in his face, boys! Flap in his face! See, we tend to use the word hope in all sorts of different ways. It's a little bit like, uh, like Thaos's glove, all right, from, uh, what's that film? Hope being the glove and the infinity stones being the things that we add on to the word. That makes sense? No. See, there's a big difference between the person who has bought a lottery ticket, yes, and then doesn't win, versus a kid who's at the side of a swimming pool in their speedos and oversized goggles saying, I really hope I get to go in soon. Like, it's obvious, isn't it? They're going in. So we use the word hope differently dependent upon the situation. What was that film? So, Romans chapter 4 verse 18 says this, Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed and so became the father of many nations. What? Let me read that to you in the New Aaron version. The New Aaron version reads it just like this. Against all lottery hope, Abraham in swimming pool hope believed and so became the father of many nations. Genius! So, let's move on back to our definition of the word hope. To trust in, wait for, look for, or desire something or someone, or to expect something beneficial in the future. Round of applause <laughs> for getting it absolutely correct. So, what does the Bible word hope mean for us? Romans chapter 15 verse 13 says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. See, we're not only hope feelers, but we're hope sharers. Anyone for some hope? Ten pound for some hope? Hope? Anyone? Anyone? Hope? I've got ten pound. Fiver! Fiver! I'll do it! Fiver! So if someone says to you, oh no, it's just a certain hope, then say to them, yes, it is a certain hope. It's a swimming pool hope. And then walk off smugly. Now, I don't know about you, but I think the world recently has gone down the scale of hope 
down to the lottery hope and that's all they can think about i hope i don't die i hope i don't get covid19 i hope lockdown's over soon so that i can stop eating sweets let's be people of swimming pool hope let's have an excited expectation of sharing the thing that jesus died for hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 says this fixing our eyes on jesus the pioneer and perfecter of our faith for the joy that was set before him he endured the cross for the joy that was set before him did you see that jesus hope is for the future that was his hope as he was going to the cross and our hope for the future should be there too so you see our hope is built on nothing less than jesus blood and righteousness see what it did there so do you want to build your tired soul up with hope then spend time with god relaxing with him looking into the future and seeing what's to come and be a hope sharer a swimming pool hope sharer to a lottery hope world what are we hoping for well in the next video we're going to take a long hard and slightly sarcastic look at the word heaven what does it mean what do i do with it there'll be a link in the description somewhere and a video will come up somewhere and you'll be able to see where to click on for that